Hello everyone, you're welcome once again to this amazing tutorial. I'm going to be doing a series on tensile art like I promised in my last video on how to create um, kids animation music videos. In that video, I showed you how I was able to use tensile art to create the images I used for the music video. Here again, I did promise that I was going to do a review of the site and here we are today. So I'm not going to be talking about some aspect of the because it's going to be in a series but I'm going to be showing us how to use tensile art to create outstanding images that you could use for most of your projects if you are a storyteller you could actually use tensile art so do it to stick close to the system to the end of this video um, I must tell us that tensile art has amazing models AI tools amazing models to choose from you also have articles to show you how to use one of these models all right so when you come here to tensile art you're going to see ai tool models post events articles and leaderboard you're also going to see the channels here and nine channels portrait realistic illustrations sci-fi visual design space design and game designs so but in order to start let's just check the anim out and in here you have the options of choosing exploring all these types of illustrations here you have the sketch you have the ink style poster you have pixel art vector art sd3 cena and wallpapers you could try this on your own and just go through all these and then let's come here you have ai tools here after the home you have the ai tool so let's click on this ai tool you're going to see ai tools you have here you have the portrait filter face swap design clothing makeup wallpaper so let's just check this one after the other you have the portraits and these are the uh, modes you could actually choose to create your own kind of image you have the filter when you want to use the ai tool for instance you want to create an image so let's for instance come here to click on this generate create an image as you can see i just created this image not quite long ago and the model that i use happened to be the uh, used hon yuan dit and this is the product of the hon yuan dit this is so colorful and very very beautiful um let's check other models let's check this out and then let's create the same thing generate the same thing okay i think it's almost done and this is amazing guys look at this look at this sorry look at this amazing design okay i use stoked tensor let's check it out this is the stoked tensor that i used this is stoked tensor xl all right and this happened to be the output guys look at it this is really beautiful you could decide to change it if you wish to you could decide to change it to um, a landscape square or whichever one you want so let's check this out as well and then let's create let's generate this as well okay this is amazing oh this is beautiful okay so let's leave here and then let's come here as you can see um stable diffusion here and then the let's create let's come here so let's come here and then we're going to click on this is stable diffusion 3 sd3 and then the hong yuan dit so this is the hong yuan dit which i actually used to create this particular image all right i use that to create this amazing wonderful image okay so so and they are all embedded inside the tensile art all right sd3 happened to be a downloadable app software that you could actually download into your system and then you start using it from there and but i'll tell you that i tried doing that some time ago i even tried downloading the sd2 that stable diffusion 2 and i couldn't do that because it's really really stressful but tensile art the first ai platform globally to collaborate with tencent in supporting the ho yuan dit model ecosystem yes and this happened to be the ho yuan dit model and it's really amazing and exceptional you must also know that tensile art is the first platform to globally support sd3 online you have the sd3 here inside the tensile art automatically you could use stable diffusion inside the tensile art website all right this happened to be the tensile art website and there inside the website you have what the stable diffusion 3 sd3 model so you have sd3 embedded inside tensile art platform so tensile 
Digital Art is the first platform globally to support SD3 online. So this is a plus to Tensor Art. You must understand that. So in order to move ahead, we would have to um, do a little demonstration like I did before. As you can see, I created this using Hong Yuan. Let's see. So let's create an image using the Hong Yuan right now. So let's click on Generate. So let's check this out. This is really beautiful. As we can see, this is amazing and really beautiful. This is um, using the Hong Yuan DIT to generate this amazing image. All right. So let's check out. Let's check out the stable division and see the output is going to give to us. So I'm going to come here. Let's try out the, the portrait. So let's just go through. Let me do. I'm going to put this to 20 and then so I'm going to be showing us all this in my next video. Okay, so I'm going to click on generate. And so this happened to be the result of the image we generated using the SD3. So you have several um, modes here, several modules here to choose from, from this VAE. And the more you could just try this out. And of course, they are going to give you several variations of output here. So go through and just try this out yourself. You'd really love it. All right. So this is the SD3 generation. And this is really amazing. And you must understand that if you check here this happened to be the uh, website of the stable division 3 that was just released so if you come here what makes sd3 medium stand out you could just go through it i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below for you to check out and see and um, what makes this really um, important or different from others you have the overall quality and photo realism and you have prompt understanding typography resource efficient and fine tuning and these are some of the attributes of Stable Diffusion 3. So you have all embedded inside the tensile art here. Okay, you have the tensile art here, and then you have the SD3 here. On GitHub, you have the Hun Yuan DIT. So you could just go through this to get to know um, one or two. So this happened to be the little uh, review that I could just give out to us for us to check out this amazing website. I did say I was going to show us or tell us how to make money about seventy dollars to hundred dollars weekly using the tensile art, and this is going to be in my next video. I'm going Going to be doing a core and complete overview and a call demonstration of how to make this happen using the tensile art i do hope you enjoyed this video in order to get notified when i upload that video do kindly subscribe like and share this video thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye bye